Welcome back. Turtles are coming out more now that the weather is getting warmer and there's things to do that you should do and you should not do to make sure you keep them safe. We're joined now with Gail Viney from Dane County Humane Society with ways to properly handle a turtle, mm -hmm. which is very important. You're it, seeing a lot more outside now, aren't you? It is. With the warmer weather and the temperature starting to rise, we're going to start to see more turtle activity. And that means turtles trying to get to areas where they can lay their eggs, they can breed, they have activities that they need to, to do. And so we want to just put the alert out there to motorists, especially sure. that there are going to be some turtles that might be crossing the road and you want to really be on the lookout. Absolutely. So if you do see a turtle, mm -hmm crossing the road, what should you do? Well, first and foremost, keep your safety in mind. We want to make sure that you are not going to get hurt, but pull over if you can, put your flashers on so other motorists are aware that something's happening, and then see if you can help safely get the turtle across the road. I mean, that's the key is safety first for you and the turtle, but see if you can help them go in the direction that they're heading. Sure. That's the key. Absolutely. And how do you handle a turtle? You know, obviously you don't want to pick it up by... Right. You don't want to pick up the tail. Yes. You don't want to um, really hold it. You want to be in the back end of the shell, um, more by the tail, but safely so that they can't snap around and bite you. Some snapping turtles have a, a very long range that they can, can reach you. So you want to make sure you're safely holding it. If you have a towel or mm -hmm. a blanket that you could put over it, that's another option or any type of umbrella or, or a stick or something that you can push the turtle across the road safely, that's the way to do it. So if you can help them, um, you know, remember, keep your safety and everyone's in mind, but try and get the turtle where it's going. Absolutely. And what if you see an injured turtle and you just want to help it? What should you do in those? Yeah, turtles situations? are, they really do, they're resilient, but if they are injured, um, they need professional help. And we are a licensed rehabilitation center and there are other licensed rehabilitators. So you want to make sure that you can take that turtle to a place that can properly care for it and help her to fix the shell if they need to have any type of stitches or sutures or um, we have veterinarians that know what to do. So bring them in to us. Even if you think the turtle's no longer alive, you should still bring the turtle sure. to us because they might still have eggs that we might be able to still help hatch and help the turtle population continue to grow. So feel free to call us. We'll always help give you guidance, but if you can bring the turtle to us, that's a great way to help too. Absolutely, and you've been seeing an increase over the, at the Humane Society, haven't we you? We have. Turtles? Two years ago, we saw 31 turtles, and last year we saw over 131. Wow. So you're seeing some pictures right now, right there is um, a volunteer coordinator that is holding a turtle bin. So right. we actually, if you can't um, help any other way, you can also donate money or supplies to help us care for the turtles that do come in. So we've already seen at least three come in hit by cars just this past week. Wow, so okay. we know they're on the move. So Absolutely. just everybody, if you can keep, their, keep your eyes out and be safe, we can hopefully save some turtle lives. Absolutely. Some very mm -hmm. useful information from Gail Viney of the Dane County Humane Society. If you have any questions, be sure to contact her over there or anyone at the Humane exactly. Society. Exactly. We're can happy help to you. help. And we'll have this whole interview up on our website, NBC15.com.